Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the evaporator fan motor in your refrigerator, unplug the power cord. Now open the freezer drawer and lift out the bin. Use a large flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs, securing both drawer rail assemblies. Then pull the entire drawer assembly out. Next, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws, securing the left and right side rack support rails. Now use a flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs to release the left and right gear support brackets. Lift the rails up and you can remove the rack from the freezer compartment. Using the quarter inch socket or nut driver, unthread the screws securing the interior access panel. Use a flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tab to release the sensor cover. Then detach the sensor from the cover. Next, depress the retaining tabs to release the fan cover. You can now pull the access panel out and remove it from the freezer compartment. Disconnect the defrost heater wire connectors. Detach the defrost thermostat from the evaporator coil. Detach the grounding wire and disconnect the main harness connector. Now unthread the two screws securing the fan motor housing to the rear panel. Remove the housing from the freezer compartment. Pull off the evaporator fan blade. Now release the retaining clips to detach the support bracket. Disconnect the wire retainers from the housing. Unhook the wires from the retaining clip and you can fully remove the old fan motor. Prepare the new evaporator fan motor for installation by transferring the support bushings from the old motor to the new one. Now position the new motor on the housing. Realign the support bracket and snap it into place. Secure the wires behind the retaining clip and snap the wire retainers into place on the housing. Slide the fan blade onto the motor shaft. Reposition the housing on the rear panel and replace the screws to secure. Connect the main harness connector. Attach the grounding wire to the evaporator bracket and snap the new defrost thermostat onto the evaporator coil. 
Connect the defrost heater wire connectors. Realign the access panel, making sure the sensor wire extends through the panel. Replace the screws to secure. Snap the fan cover into place. Reattach the sensor to its cover and snap the cover into position on the panel. Realign the freezer rack on the support rails. Push the support rails down and snap the gear support brackets into place. Rethread and tighten the screws to secure the support rails. Reinstall the drawer assembly by aligning the slides on the rails, then push the drawer forward. Now snap both slides into place to secure the drawer assembly. Replace the bin. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use. <laughs>